Hi everybody, you want to show wage determination in a perfectly competitive labour market. How do you go about doing that using diagrams? Well, we need to draw two diagrams here. On the left, we show the industry labour market, i.e. the labour market for the entire profession. Or on the right, we draw the labour market for the individual firm who is operating under such market conditions, i.e. a firm who is operating under perfectly competitive labour market conditions. We start by focusing on this left-hand diagram. On the y-axis, it's a labour market, so we label wage and quantity of workers. I would also label this diagram at the same time. It's so common that students, when they're drawing slightly more complicated diagrams, they forget their labelling. So I would get that done straight away, in exactly the same way. So wage on the y-axis and quantity of workers on the x-axis. In the industry, wages are determined, and they are determined very simply where supply, which is just upward sloping like that, and demand, which is downward sloping like that, but equal to MRP, meet. So you draw your supply and demand, very simple labour market here. Where the two meet, we have quantity of workers, call it QC, and we have the wage, importantly, call it WC. That is the wage determined in the labour market. Now we look at a firm who has to take that wage. The firm is a wage taker, so they take the wage WC and operate with it. There's WC. That wage now becomes the firm's supply of labour pair, which is their average cost of labour, which is their marginal cost of labour in perfectly competitive labour markets. We also need to draw the firm's demand curve, which is just the MRP, so we can draw and label the demand curve. D equals MRP. Where demand equals supply for the firm, that determines the firm's employment, i.e. the firm's quantity of workers, and we can call that Q1. So all the labelling needs to be done as such. It's actually a very simple diagram, as long as you know what you're doing and how you're drawing it. Have we labelled our axis? Yes, we have on both diagrams. Have we labelled all of our curves? Yes, we have perfectly. Have we labelled all of the different equilibria? Yes, we have both in the individual market and for the firm. Perfect. In which case we've aced our diagram, we've shown exactly what we need to, we can move on. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.